All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. It is Brother Obadiah from New Wine Congregation. And I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Right, Yahweh is the true name of who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shah is the true name of who the world calls Jesus Christ. And this video I'm going to be touching on is um, I'm going to pour three scriptures to prove that God hates pork. I'm going to pour three. I'm going to pour three scriptures out the Bible, out the Holy Bible, to prove that the God of Israel is against his people eating pork. Right? And we talk about this all the time. Um, you have some people, they want to fight against it because they love pork so much. You know, they love pork to the point where they'll say, well, it don't matter what you eat. They'll go to Paul and say, Paul said, but Paul, Paul... Paul wouldn't speak against the words of the Lord, and Paul don't have the authority to change that, what was written in his Bible. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get some scriptures right, three scriptures to prove that we cannot eat pork, and, the, and God is against His people eating pork. So let's, I'm already here, Leviticus chapter 11. Now, if, if nobody, somebody probably don't know, Leviticus chapter 11, the whole Leviticus 11 is a is a dietary law. The Lord gives His chosen people, the Israelites, a dietary law, meaning certain meats. That you can and cannot eat, rather they own, rather they own land or rather they in the water. He breaks it down to the things that you can and can't eat. They have to fit certain requirements in order for you to eat the animals, because some animals was created, but they wasn't created to eat. Every animal has a specific purpose on this earth. Some you can kill and clean and eat, and some animals they were never made to be consumed. So we can go down to Leviticus eleven and seven. It says, and the swine. Swine is another name for that pig, for that pork. It says, And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. So this, this, this a pig is a nasty animal. Number one, because the scripture just said it don't um chew the cud, meaning it don't it don't digest his food properly. A pig, if you if you if you look into people going into a pig and how a pig operate. A pig was never made to be consumed. A pig, if you, a pig don't sweat, meaning the reason why we sweat is to get all these toxins out of our body, right? You sweat, sweating is good for you. A pig don't sweat. So all those toxins build up inside his body. A pig can eat anything. Like, it was this, y'all can look this up. I think this was back in like 2012. It was a farmer that used to be, in, a farmer that used to live in Oregon. And he had a farm. And he ended up having a heart attack and he, he fell in there with the pigs and the pigs ate him up. I saw a, a pig will literally eat anything. So if a, if, a, if a pig just ate a human being and ate doodle and you just consume that pork chop, that means that you ate what that pig just ate. And that's why, that's why a lot of times our people have, have uh, health problems. Right, they have they have health problems because a lot of times they eat that pork. You eating what you're not supposed to consume. The Lord said you're not supposed to eat that. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you, so you're not supposed to touch a dead pig, or you're not supposed to consume a pig, because pigs also have maggots in it. It's a video y'all can look up on YouTube. It's a woman. She have a pork chop on her plate, and I think she got a Pepsi or a Coke, and she poured on the pork chop, and maggots and stuff come out of it. Right. So a pig was never was never made for us to be eaten. That's not even food. Chitlins, pig feet, all that. Think about that. That's not food. That's slave food. That's, they fed us that in slavery because that's all we had to eat. But that's not that's not food, man. That's why when you have when you have a farmer, he, he always throw the stuff he don't want to the pig. And guess what? The pig gonna eat all of it. A pig will eat anything. And guess what? A pig, I seen a video of a, a pig getting bitten by a poisonous snake and it didn't harm the snake because the snake got all those chemicals inside it, right? And all that filth inside of the pig that the snake, didn't, the, the, the venomous snake didn't even harm the pig. That's not the animal that we're supposed to be consuming. And that's, that's why we always be sick as so-called black people because we consuming that pig. So the Bible says you're not even supposed to eat that. So let, now let me show y'all something. Let me get Isaiah. Let's get the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah said, Isaiah said again. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65. In verse 1. I am salt of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. 
I have spread out my hands all the day into a rebellious people. And he's speaking of the Israelites, which walketh in a walk walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoked me to anger continually. So the Bible said we we walk in our own ways and we we provoking God to anger continually. Now it's finna describe or it's finna speak on how we provoke him to anger continually. To my face, that sacrifice in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick. Verse 4, which remain among the, the graves and lodge in the monuments which eat swine's flesh and broth of abomination things in their vessels. So when it says broth and abomination things in their vessels, that's kind of talking about in today's time something that's called like gumbo soup. You know how you have gumbo soup, how your grandma might make gumbo soup and she got all the meats in, the, in one soup. You got the, she got the she got the uh um the, the sausage, got the uh got the uh you know she got she know she be having the sausage, the corn, and she have the uh potatoes, and she might have some um some crab meat in there. Uh, some people might put some possum in there, especially if you're from the south, put some squirrel, put some uh turtle soup, put some turtle in there. Bruh. That's what it's talking about when it says broth of abominations, things in, that's in vessels. They was doing that back then. They was making abomination gumbo soup. They was mixing all these different meats and putting them in a bowl and, and, and eating it. The Lord said that makes him angry, angry, angry continually. Then he said, verse five, which say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a, these are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. So you have people that were saying, um... Uh, stand by thyself. He said, come not to me. So basically when he said, don't, don't come to me, I'm holier than you. So even though you were trying to tell people back then, hey, you, you ain't supposed to be eating that meat. They looked at you like they was holier than you. Like they still look like they was holier than you. Like you couldn't tell them nothing. You couldn't correct them back then. It's the same time now. It's nothing new under the sun. You try to tell like people to start eating pork. Nigga, don't tell me I can't start eating pork. I've been eating pork for 30 years. And I ain't get sick yet. I've been eating pork my whole life and I ain't get high blood pressure yet. That's the stuff that our people say. You can't tell me eating pork is not going to make me closer to God. You can't tell me eating pork going to kill me. As long as, as long as I repent for my sins, I'll be all right. That's what our people say. That's what it's talking about when they say I'm holier than thou. They think they holier than you, even though they eating abomination. Now, before I get this last verse, I know people saying, some people may say, that's in the Old Testament, though. He bringing out scriptures that's that's in the Old Testament. That's in the Old Testament. That don't matter. Uh, Paul said that you can eat whatever you want to, as long as it be received with thanksgiving. That's what a lot of people say. A lot of people like that. That's why a lot of people don't read the Old Testament. They say, forget about the Old Testament. The Old Testament don't matter. But a lot of people don't understand that it's it's some old. It's it's a lot of scriptures in the Old Testament. A lot of prophecy in the Old Testament that haven't happened yet. And I'm finna show you one scripture that pertains to pork in the Old Testament that haven't happened yet. That's gonna happen when Christ returns. Let's get it. It's in, it's, it's in the same book. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse start at 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Now we know that this haven't happened yet because the Lord haven't came yet with fire we know that this world was destroyed the first time by water but he haven't came he haven't destroyed he haven't came with fire this time yet and with his chariot like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword would the lord plead with all flesh and the slaying of the lord shall be many so the lord gonna kill a lot of people when he when he returned back now these are the, these are gonna be the main people that he's gonna kill they that sanctify themselves, same thing Isaiah 65 was going into, and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. And the abomination in the mouse shall be consumed together, says the Lord. So the Lord is coming back to kill people that's eating pork when he returns. Now, even though this is even though this is in the Old Testament, this haven't happened yet. So if you eating pork, when Christ return, he said you're going to be slain by the sword. If you eat any abomination, if you eat anything that's in Leviticus 11 that the Bible told you not to eat, you're going to he's going to slay you with the sword. 
So that's why we tell our people to stop eating pork, man, because yes, it's in the Old Testament not to eat pork, but the law doesn't change. Let people let's let's see let's let's see Christ's words. Let's see what Christ said. This book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. Which that's a cut to the Trinity. People believe that God, that God and Jesus or Yahweh and Yahweh shot the same person. But he just said, Why you call me good? There is none good but God, but one that is God. So how can they be the same person? But it says, but if thou would enter into life, keep the commandments. So he just said, if you if you if you want everlasting life, eternal life, you must keep the commandments. You must keep the commandments. So you still have to keep the commandment. You still have to keep the law. Right? You still have to keep the, you have to keep everything that was written, man. So um hold on, let me see if I want. So there are those, those are just a few scriptures that I want to get into to show that you still have to keep this. That's out of Christ's words. You still have to keep the commandments. Now, those were commandments in Leviticus 11 in the scriptures that saying you can't eat pork. So if you people, if our people decide to continue to eat pork, that's that's called a sin. If you continue to do what you want, want to do, you're going to you're going to get put to death. Right. Because the Lord is not dealing with pork. Why would why would he turn around and say um? Why would he turn around and say why why would he at first say pork is unclean? Don't eat that. Stay away from it. Just to turn around and say oh, you can eat it. Why would the Lord tell you to eat something that's making you sick, that caused you high blood pressure, that caused you gout, right? That that that's that's bad for you. That's killing so called black people on a high level, on a high scale. Why would he tell you you can eat that now? It don't make sense. You know, so Lord when this video is edifying, I now encourage brothers and sisters to just study the pig, man. Study what you put in your body. If you really, if you really look into the pig, which I know a lot of people ain't going to want to because they know that that's going to make them stop wanting to eat pork. But for the people that really seek knowledge and want to do better and want to keep God's commandments and take care of their body, I encourage y'all to look into a pig. Look into the, the health benefits um, of, that can cause you for eating pig. Look into... The things that a pig do and don't. Right, so with that, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shema Shah. I say Shalom.